Hi, everyone. So we are done with the branch one and the, with the two quarters. So let's do the service provider. <clears throat> Just I want to see display IP interface brief. Display IP interface brief. Okay, I have just IP addresses. I just put them here in the interface just to save time. Now, when I want to um, configure OSPF, then it's against the static route. For the dynamic routing, just I want to define the network that I have or the network that I want to propagate to others. So, I will mention here um, system. Uh, first of all, let me undo terminal monitor just to not bother us. Okay, we will not maybe we see the uh, the adjacency will be happened, but it's fine. So system OSPF one, and let's give it router ID one dot one dot one dot one. So area zero. I'm sorry, network. So 12.12.12.0 and we give it wildcard mask 0 .0 0.0.0.255. Network 13.13.13.0.0.0.255. Again, network 1.1.1.0 and 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.255. Uh, the service provider will uh, will define your network to their neighbors, yes, but there will not be any OSPF between you and service provider, okay? So network, again, the 2.2.2.0.0.0.0.255. Great. So router 2, display IP interface brief. 12 and 24, right? UTM system, OSPF one, router ID two to two to two to two. Area zero, network. Here I have two networks, 12 to 12 to 12 to zero, zero to zero to zero, to, sorry. 255 and network 24.24.24.0.0.0.0.255. Okay, it should be adjacency for that. Here, if I say um, display OSPF here, then it can see that my peer is 1.1.1. .1. It's fine. So let me see display. Um, IP routing table. Then by OSPF uh, here, yes. I can see thirteen by OSPF, and I can see the ones by OSPF and two by OSPF. Yeah, twelve. I cannot see it because directly connect. So I'm fine. So let me continue here system. Router, oh, sorry, system OSPF one router ID two to two to two to two area zero. Display this, okay? So, ah, okay, I finished it with the network, fine. So, let me UTM system OSPF one. Router ID, and uh, this is the router three, so three, three, three. Area zero. Area, sorry. Area zero. Network. I have thirteen dot thirteen dot thirteen dot zero zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five. And network is here. It will be 34 to 34. So 34 to 34. 
So network 34, the 34, the 34, the 0, 0, the 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 UTM system OSPF one router ID folder 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 four area zero network uh, here in the four I have twenty four and thirty four and forty eight and forty one okay so twenty four the twenty four the twenty four the zero 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 two five five network and thirty four the thirty four the thirty four the zero 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 two five five again network forty eight the forty eight the forty eight the forty eight and white card zero the zero the zero dot two five five network. 41 to 41 to 41 0 0 0 0 to 2 1 1 2 5 5 so great so from here I should see display uh, OSPF sorry display OSPF peer and let me see who's my peer here here I have peer the router ID 333 yeah, router three, and mm, here I should have two peers. Here also, 24 is my peer. System, OSPF one, router ID for the for the for the for. And area zero display this. Uh, the 24 is here also. Okay, let me see display IP routing table. Display IP routing table. And let me maximize it just a bit. Okay. I can see one from two ways. Yes, 24 and 34. I'm right. And I can see also two from two ways from 24 and 30. Yes, yes, okay. So until now, everything is working as expected. Fine. So, uh, here, this PC, if it want to ping 1.1.1.2, my public IP address, so it can't ping it, yeah. <clears throat> but if it's wanted to be ping here, it will not be ping, yes, because this the service provider does not know my private IP addresses and it's obvious that those IP addresses cannot go to the internet all these public IP addresses it's fine that's fine for the time being it's fine um when we finished the service provider let's see what logics we can do in the next video